Four Primo Gems. Oh, wow. You can get Xiao now. Look at that. No, 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 listen. No, listen. This changes everything. Listen, listen. This changes everything. I let no, 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 no. Listen, listen. Now we got C2. This is like the biggest constellation for her for support. Because this gives you the shield level three uh, when you use your ultimate. C2 is, is insanity, bro. This is insanity. This is like the best constellation for her. I was gonna use the free, uh, the free character on Shin Yan to get this, but I didn't want to wish on this banner for Shin Yan. All right, boys. Now I know I say it a lot, but this changes everything. Also, there's an announcement. There's a huge announcement at the end of this video that changes everything too. Uh, I'm gonna get through the main content first before I talk about that, but I have one of the craziest things happening to the channel. Uh, I'm gonna put it right at the end of the video. But for right now, <laughs> Shin Yan changes everything. I was actually going to choose Shin Yan uh, as my free character from the new event that's coming in just a few days. Uh, I, I was pretty much set on choosing Shin Yan for a couple different reasons. Now I know that, you know, getting a four-star character for some people isn't that big a deal. But getting a four-star character and, the you know, the constellation that you've been hoping for, that you've been praying for, it is really, really nice. But the big thing here is now I have a free choice. I don't have to go with Shin Yan on that choice. I've got multiple other characters that are going to get some really nice upgrades uh, because of getting C2 Shin Yan. Now, I could wish on the banner a whole bunch if I wanted to. Absolutely, right? You know, I could brute force this thing if I really wanted to and get those constellations, but C2 is really the, the point where Shin Yan goes from pretty darn good little support to, oh my god, she's cracked. Now, when you get C2, your physical damage on her ability, which is the most of her ability on her Q, it gets a 100% crit rate. That's cool if you want to stack some crit damage, but that's not what I'm actually interested in. What I'm interested in is this right here. You will produce shield level 3 every time you press your Q ability, and that is big. Let me explain. In the old Spiral Abyss on floor 12, there was a cryo debuff that would continually hit you and suck all of your stamina. However, they've moved an Electro debuff onto floor 11. You will constantly get this engulfing storm. And if you don't have a way of cleansing it, you can't use your, uh, you, your burst ability, your Q ability, uh, depending where you're playing, if you're on mobile or whatever. Uh, and that's big, right? That would make Venti much less valuable. Some of your healers become absolutely useless. And so removing this debuff is imperative to your success if you want to smash through this uh, with ease. Now, the thing with Shin Yan is I've got two things going for her here uh, that's making her much, much stronger. So one of the big ones here is pairing Shin Yan with another fire character, allowing me to get a lot of elemental particles and spam her Q ability, but she also has the Sacrificial Greatsword. What this means is when I get hit with the Engulfing Storm, I have multiple options of dealing with this. I can hit with it, I can Q, and I can get that shield. So I'm cleansed now from the Engulfing Storm. You can see I don't have the Electro Debuff, right? But if I was to get hit with it again, I now have my E ability. Now with the Sacrificial Greatsword, I have a chance of reducing the cooldown, but I can essentially be cleansed the entire time. And you can see that I'm getting quite a bit of these uh, elemental particles. Now if I pop that again, and I swap to D Luke, and I'm using his abilities, right? Maybe I even use his little ultimate. He's not getting his energy cleansed. Maybe I go to a little venti. I can use his. Shin Yan is now generating a bunch of energy for the team, but also she is cleansing that debuff. And if there's any other floors down the road when they change the Spiral Abyss, that value doesn't go away. Getting a big constellation like this is huge, and that's why I was committing to choosing her as my free character. But now, this opens doors for other characters. I have a, a couple that can get some insane constellations. And so now I have to go back to the drawing board a little bit on what I'm going to choose. I'm really, really happy about this because, um, you know, I wanted to get this done, but if I chose Shin Yan as my free character, it meant that I wasn't going to get some other absolutely amazing constellations. So one of the other ones is Beto. 
Uh, I used her as a main DPS for a long time, and now she's kind of been moved to a support role. And so C2, regardless of DPS or support or whatever, this is insane because now your, your ultimate ability is going to chain to two additional targets, giving you way, 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 way more, um, you know, area of effect. And so I now have access to a very good constellation, kind of a, a game changer as well, I would say, especially if you're doing something like the Spiral Abyss. So I'm really excited about that. But then I started looking at my team and uh, I started looking at who I have. And, you know, D Luke is one of my main DPS. Now I can't, I can't choose D, D Luke. Like, I, I know I can't choose D Luke. D I can't talk. I can't choose D Luke! But what I can do is get a fourth constellation on my blue boy baby now this one is going to be increasing the damage um, of his e ability by 50 percent when i pop my q ability and that's exciting because if i start building some damage on him or maybe i swap over to something like the festering desire my damage is going to be actually kind of cracked and so i'm thinking that i'm going to do this i'm actually going to be building him up in the next little bit here uh, he is an amazing support, and at C4, he's going to hit hard, right? But my goal is to level him up. I've got the weapon. Maybe get some constellation or uh, some some artifacts on him, but I'm going to use him as one of the main supports for D-Luke. Like, we're closing the gap on, on C6. It'll be insane if I can get that down the road, if he's ever in the shop, or if there's another banner with him. So I'm excited. This this changes everything, boys. Um, I, I, I'm... I kind of want Beto. I kind of want the C2 Beto. But I, I think I'm going to go with him. And I would love to know your thoughts. Do you think I should go with the Beto? Or should I go with Xingqiu? They're both such good constellations. And and I, I'm leaning much more towards this uh, than Beto. Because I, I've caught a decommissioner since I got Ganyu. But I don't know. Maybe I'm missing something here. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the support. And I have some really big news that I wanted to share with you guys. I'm just going to let the video roll and enjoy. I need something better than that. What? This looks incredible. Oh, yeah! So there it is. The Tash Man is sponsored by Taco Bell for the next year. We're going to do a bunch of giveaways and fun other things, but I, I just can't believe it. This is one of the biggest brands, and the fact that they are sponsoring this, this channel directly for a year... I am absolutely shocked. I'm very blessed. And this couldn't have happened if you guys weren't watching all my videos and helping me to, to continue to grow at an insane rate. Uh, on the average month, we're getting views similar to my best months ever in the, in, in the past with games like Destiny, uh, games like The Division. Like, we're getting four or five million views every month. Easy. And, like, if you even look two back, you know, two years ago, I'd get, like, a million views maybe in a month. And on a really good month, I'd get, like, four or five. Now we're just averaging 4 or 5 million views a month. And back in October, when Genshin came out, we got 21 million views. That's how many views I got in 2018. Like, in one month, we got, we, we got 21 million views. Three times my channel record. So, the growth has been insane. I, I can't thank you guys enough for watching my stuff. 70% of you that watch my channel are not subscribed. So maybe, if you guys all, all subscribe in this year, we can get the, uh, the million subscribers, but... Who knows? Thank you so much. Have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.